Please pause this video and answer the question before continuing. Now in this question, we want to find the value of x. Since both of the equations in the statements involve absolute values, we should recognize that they may have more than one solution. We should also recognize that these types of equations can have extraneous roots. So with that in mind, let's examine statement 1. To solve this equation, we can apply the following rule to see that x minus 10 can equal 6, or x minus 10 can equal negative 6. When we solve the first equation, we get x equals 16, and when we solve the second equation, we get x equals 4. Now let's confirm that each solution satisfies the original equation. So first we'll check the solution x equals 16 by taking the original equation and replacing x with 16. When we simplify the left hand side, we get the absolute value of 6 equals 6, which is true, so x equals 16 is a valid solution to the original equation. Now we'll check the solution x equals 4 by taking the original equation and replacing x with 4. When we simplify the left hand side, we get the absolute value of negative 6 equals 6, which is true, so x equals 4 is also a valid solution. So this equation has two solutions, x equals 16 and x equals 4. Since we cannot determine the value of x with certainty, statement 1 is not sufficient. Okay, now on to statement 2. Once again, we will apply the following rule to see that x squared minus 16 can equal x minus 4, or x squared minus 16 can equal negative x minus 4. To solve the first equation, we'll first subtract x and add 4 to both sides, and then we'll factor the left-hand side. From here, we can see that if x minus 4 times x plus 3 is equal to 0, then x equals 4 or negative 3. To solve the second equation, we'll first expand the right-hand side, then we'll add x and subtract 4 from both sides, and then we'll factor the left-hand side. If x minus 4 times x plus 5 equals 0, then x equals 4 or negative 5. So we now have several possible solutions to check. To check the solution x equals 4, we'll take the original equation and replace x with 4. When we simplify both sides, we get the absolute value of 0 equals 0, which is true. So x equals 4 is a valid solution. Now we'll check the solution x equals negative 3 by taking the original equation and replacing x with negative 3. When we simplify both sides here, we get the absolute value of negative 7 equals negative 7. Since the absolute value of a number cannot be negative, the solution x equals negative 3 is not valid here. The next solution is x equals 4, and we already saw that this is a valid solution. So we'll move on to the solution x equals negative 5. Once again, we'll check the solution by taking the original equation and replacing x with negative 5. When we simplify both sides, we get the absolute value of 9 equals negative 9. This solution is not valid, which means our equation has only one possible solution, x equals 4. As such, statement 2 is sufficient, and our answer is b.